got with crayons. I stole my brother's crayons. Well, I wouldn't say stole, or like borrowed without permission. <laughs> anyway, let's draw. Also, look at the sun. Ah! I got these like window thingies that you've probably seen on TikTok or something where you like cover it up and it makes pretty little thingies and like rainbows. <laughs> anyway, so uh, these aren't like the normal crayons, they're like thicker. This one's still broken, but it should be fine. It's bandaged up. It's like actually a pretty good color selection. I want to make something reminiscent of like a storybook with a lot of texture, like something that you would see like in a storybook, like for children. I think it'd be really cute. And um, I don't know if I'd be able to like make something this big, but I think it'd be cute to try. I don't know. Um, it's definitely very large and I don't know how easy it will be to color like big surfaces with these but I kind of want to like do like a nice little landscape or something I think it would be really pretty with like grass and like trees and like maybe like a lake or something like that I don't know again I don't know how well these blend or how easy it would be to do that but I'm gonna test them out in my sketchbook first I have some colored pencil sketches here and I think I actually really really like this one there's like empty space so I'm gonna swatch here and I feel like it'll go with the, like the color scheme it's very colorful here I'm very scared that I'm gonna break them because I'm very heavy-handed, but I'm gonna try and not press too much. These are very pigmented. Do you see that? Wait, I'll zoom in a little bit so then you can see what I'm doing. There's the red. There's also like, well, that's more of like a magenta-ish color. This is the actual like red red, if you can tell. My nose is stuffy again. Um, I can never, I don't know, it must be allergies or something, but I, I'm never, <laughs> I can never breathe through both nose holes nostrils there we go so yeah i probably sound sick again i'm not sick well i don't know kind of that's a really pretty yellow like look at how like pigmented these are these are good see i knew this would be a good idea like i really wanted to make art with these oh my god that green that's such a pretty color oh my god anyway um yeah i really want to make some cool stuff with these i think it'll look really sick damn okay i i love the texture that these give Again, I don't know how easy it will be to color like big spaces. I'm gonna try and make like obviously some thumbnail sketches on a different page because there's not any space here. And um, maybe like make kind of like this size of a drawing. I don't know. I kind of want to save my energy for like a bigger thing though, so I don't know. That's pretty. Okay. Uh, I wonder if you can mix things. We'll have to test that out. There's the white. You can't really see it, but a little dirty. <laughs> a little more than a little. That's very dirty, but whatever uh brown that's the exact same color as my nails wow i'm gonna try to avoid using black because i want it to be like softer so i'm gonna use like brown instead but that's cute okay so uh let me try blending some of them like over here i need to like figure out how to actually blend these i think they might be pretty easy to blend though look at that <gasps> oh my god these are this is a good art supply <laughs> do you see how like like moist they are does that make sense i know some people don't like that word i'm sorry but i don't i don't hate it or anything it's just a word to me um but these are not like these are kind of good for blending like you can still see the lines which is not a bad thing but like they feel really nice but, like they go on very very smoothly they kind of remind me of like soft pastels or like oil pastels or something but like these are way easier to use and they're not like staining my hands or anything low-key might just start like casually like drawing with crayons if you see me do that it felt <laughs> if you see me like posting art I dude i cannot there's not a single video where i knocked on the tripod whatever if you see me casually making art with crayons don't mind that <laughs> it's really fun though i'm having like a really good time just watching these okay so uh i didn't have a purple but I easily mixed some purple from like the light blue and like the magenta and also like the dark blue works as well and we can get like different shades so they definitely mix oh which is great um i don't i think i'm gonna move on to some thumbnailing sketches and then we'll try and make something Wait, ignore that we'll try and make something this big i feel like that's a little bit ambitious but i don't know i think i could do it i'll do some thumbnail sketches here and then yeah let's let's see i don't know <laughs> okay so here i am i'm using this like book cover as like inspiration i used just like the background i definitely changed it up a little bit but i just needed a little bit of a reference photo because it's kind of in the style that i was going for 
except obviously mine is tiny and then after that one i just used pinterest and like found a bunch of like images you can't really see what's going on but you get a like general impression of flowers and fields so i feel like crayons are really good for that where you kind of just do like messy little sketches like they don't have to be super detailed if you look up close they kind of just look like blobs but i feel like it's very cute I used a palette knife to kind of like scrape off some of the crayons and like define some more details which actually worked really really well. Um, you can see in the last one I like really defined the clouds with the palette knife and it made such a difference that it ended up being like one of my favorite sketches that I did. Overall I actually had like a lot of fun like just drawing and like I watched YouTube and stuff so I recommend doing little thumbnail sketches with these but I feel like if you have art block and you just want to doodle I definitely recommend trying out crayons because they kind of force you to not focus on the details and not focus on making things perfect instead just kind of like have fun and get the general essence of the thing you're trying to draw now i'm moving on to like the finished piece or whatever but i just think this size is not compatible with crayons i'm sure someone can make like a very beautiful detailed masterpiece with crayons and like an even bigger piece of paper but it was not for me I just couldn't get enough details with the crayons and it wasn't like small enough for me to be able to like get away with a lot of like blobby shapes just to kind of like make it more abstract because you can see in the doodles i kind of just like made the flowers like little dots and they looked like flowers but here because it's bigger you have to like be more in depth and put more detail it was harder to blend and the scraping technique also didn't work to like make clouds so the sky ended up being bad and like i couldn't really get enough detail across to actually make things look good but it wasn't like abstract enough for it to just seem like a cute little sketch with like crayons so i just think it didn't work i'm not very happy with this the colors don't make any sense again i'm sure someone can make something good with this i don't want to try drawing people in this kind of like art style but i feel like that'd be even more difficult either way i'm not super happy with the finished thing so i ended up um doing some more sketches just because i didn't want to end it off on a bad note and um i ended up making four the last one i did off camera but i posted it on my instagram some of you have probably seen it but i ended up like finishing off the page and stuff and i'm really really happy with the way these turned out that page uh, i only use like blues and greens and like hints of orange and stuff like that so they're all all four of them are kind of like in the same color scheme and i think it looks really cute again i just used some like photos on pinterest and just like drew them with the crayons up close you can see they're literally nothing special they're very simple drawings with not much detail but they look so cute and i think they're just really fun to draw with so if you have some free time i definitely recommend this um but like i said it wasn't the best idea to make like a finished piece i definitely tried i did but i also got kind of tired of it like halfway through and kind of started giving up with the flowers and stuff like that but overall i think this was a very positive experience i know today's video is kind of short but if i inspired anyone to like go and use unconventional art supplies i guess then that's great so yeah hope you enjoyed the video hope you kind of like the little doodles i did um better videos coming out soon hopefully i have some ideas and i'll see you all next time goodbye have a lovely day i love you bye